All right, so I'm making move sets again. So I figured I would, you know, do another tutorial, show everybody how to do it again since I deleted my old ones, and this time I won't delete this one. So uh, I'm going to provide links for all the different um, programs you're going to need to be able to do this. So to start things off, we're going to get Mod Engine. I'm probably going to do this in a series of videos, so I'm just going to start from the beginning and then get into the more technical stuff and break it down. <clears throat> in this video, I'm just going to show how to um, basically make your own TAE and get started, right? All right, so we have Mod Engine. Go ahead and put that on your desktop anywhere. And then you're going to need to unpack your game. I have a copy of the vanilla 1.16 here. Um, to unpack your game, it's super easy. You're just gonna, let me see here. Oh, not yet ever. UXM. So you're gonna go download UXM for, I'll, I'll put a link to it. You're gonna download UXM, unpack, give it to the file path to your EXE and unpack it. And then you'll get something like this. All right. So you're going to go into CHR. You're going to want your antibind. You're going to want this. And depending on where you plan on putting your animations, you're going to need this and this, right? Because this is where you're going to put your animations for like uh, your Art of Wars. This is where you're going to put the animations for your moveset. So we're going to copy this. Paste it. Oh, actually, we want to put that in CHR. So inside the mod folder, we're going to create a folder called CHR. Move it in there. All right. And then now we're going to, just for the sake of the video, because I'm making a colossal greatsword, um, that's what I'm going to copy. Okay. So we're going to go inside here. You're going to take your antibind. You're going to open it up with witchy. Now inside here, we're going to grab, uh, if you go to my TAEID list, so I know 31 is the Colossal Sword. So we're going to go to 31. We're going to copy it, paste it somewhere else, rename it. Like Let's do AO80 because that's what I'm doing for mine. Move it back in here. Get rid of your old one and then repack. Took some time because I didn't change the compression, but that's okay. While we're waiting for that, we're going to go ahead and start Smithbox. Whoops. Oh, there it goes. Going to create a new project. We're just going to call this tutorial. Project directory is going to be that mod engine mod folder. Oops, I want the one on the desktop. Mod select. Game executable is going to be your unpacked game. So I don't know if you're going to do what I did and make a copy of it and put it on a different drive and then unpack it, you know, whatever you're going to do. But you want your exe open. Import row names, you're going to want that. Create. All right, so in the params, 
We're going to go down to the quick prep and param. And just for this video, because I'm doing the Royal Greatsword, I'm not going to uh, replace the weapon, but that's just kind of what I'm going to use as my base. So we're going to go in here and you're going to go special because we're looking for the special motion category. And that's where we're going to put our new TAE, right? So our new TAE is 80. And we're going to hit file, save modified params. All right, I move that down. Okay, so now we've added the TAE to the antibind, right? Get rid of the unpacked one. Um, now you're going to need animations, all right? So we're going to unpack the... Whoop, 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 that's not right. We are going to need to unpack that, but first we're going to have to unpack the... In your game folder where you unpacked your entire game, you're going to look for A3X Anabind. But depending on what TAE you're copying it from, you know, if you're copying like Cantana, which is like A29, it's going to be in the 2X. So like it, the TAE corresponds with th these Anabinds, okay? Anything that's above, uh, I think, 60 is going to be an A9X. So like 100 and up, all that stuff is going to be an A on X. So we want A3X because we're, we're copying from A3, A31, right? So I'm going to unpack this, which I already did here. But just for the video, let's do it fresh. I'm going to go in here, open it up. Well, we're looking for A031. All right, we want all these. We're going to copy them. And then we're going to go inside here, this A6X. We're going to unpack it. And we're going to go in here. Going to paste them in here. And then using bulk rename utility, you're going to take your file path here, copy it. Go into bulk rename, rename utility. You're going to copy your file path here. Enter. It'll show up all this stuff. You're going to select all. Control A. You're going to replace 013 with 0, whoa, whoa, 080. And then rename. Okay. Okay. So now all your new animation IDs are renamed to your new TAE. And you're going to back out of this. Get rid of your old one. And you're going to repack. All right. So again, we're not going to mess with this yet, but I just wanted to get that out just so you guys can kind of see and I can explain a little bit. That's where your like Art of War stuff is going to go, right? Okay, so now we have our new TAE. We have our animations for our new TAE, and now we need to get the behaviors for our new TAE and then fix the jump attacks for it. So Elden Ring Clip Generator, I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to put links for all this stuff. So our file open. And then you're going to go to the, your uh, whatever folder you're working on. So this one, I didn't rename it, so it's just going to be the mod engine one. I'm going to go in here, CHR, B, H, B, and D. I'll open this up. We're going to um, import from Anabind. And you're going to click that Anabind file, and then look, there's all our new AO80s. All right, now we're going to look up A080. A080, yeah, that's right. Now we're going to look for all the uh, animation IDs that end with 70, right? So like this one. We're going to go here, binding. And we're looking for time to act editor 10. We're going to hit OK. Now you have to do that for all the jump attacks. Otherwise, it's going to do that weird clipping that uh, a lot of people have seen. So binding. Okay, go down for the 70s. There should be five of them.
Oh, I missed that one. Like I said, there'll be five of them, so you should have one for your heavy and light for one-handed, one for your heavy and light two-handed, and then your uh, dual wielding or your power stance, whatever you want to call it. All right, so now that we've added the behaviors, we've fixed all the jump attacks, we're going to save it. All right, I didn't see it change and out change. So, all right, so now we have the TAE, we have our animations, and we have our um, behaviors. All right, so now we're going to go into DS Animation Studio. Again, I'll put links for this. This is a Patreon program that you're going to have to get from Mio Meredith. So, we're going to go file, open. And then we're going to look for that uh, mod folder. Mod, DHR, Anabind. I'm going to go right there. All right, so game directory. So we're going to look for that unpacked game directory. Oh, where did I put it? I have mine in my quick access. I mean, you should do the same thing. So all we want to do is, is click this folder that has the EXE in it. So the directory is clicked. We're going to hit save. Oh, that didn't work. Actually, yeah, that's right. So I click this, it's going to do something weird. Yeah, that's not what we want. So whatever your directory is, usually it says game folder, but since I you know, backed it up like I did, it doesn't say game. It's, it's vanilla Elden Ring, but you want the folder that has your EXE in it. You make sure it says that and then save. All right, now we want our mod folder. So you're going to click your mod folder. Save. And you want to load unpacked game files. This is important. Otherwise, if you add animations or do anything weird, it won't load all your new files. So we're going to hit apply. Hit OK. All right, and now looking at it, there's 80. And as you can see, it has animations. Now, remember, Colossal Swords only have three attacks. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to um, add bullets from skills and things like that. And I'll go over a couple other things, but I just wanted to show the basics in this first video. Um, and I'll work on the second video right now. Hopefully this helped you guys out. And uh, talk to you later.